Hey guys, David Burns, good to be with you today. Today I've got some little hives out here in single deeps and I'm gonna combine two of them. I don't mind overwintering in single deeps, a lot of people do it, but I prefer to go through the winter in two deeps. And so what I'm gonna do is combine two of these today. Now, both of them have good queens. Got our queen cage here that we're gonna put our queen in. And then Bobblehead David says, please subscribe. Appreciate that so much. Today we're gonna uh, open this hive up and then open the Apime hive up. We're actually gonna use an Apimate deep on top of that deep, and then we're gonna transfer one by one the frames over onto the Apimate hive, but we're gonna put my special combination um, paper between the two. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use that. Now, some of you ask me about why, what gloves I wear, why I wear gloves, and why I don't wear gloves. In the video, the last video that I made, I didn't have any gloves on. I didn't have uh, a bee suit. I just had a, my hat and a veil with my plastic screen in there. So it just kind of depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Well, today it's uh, cloudy, very cloudy, almost drizzling, but right now there's a break. And so you always suspect that bees may not be as happy and gentle on days when it's cloudy, uh, potentially dreary. So that's why I'm being very careful today to go ahead and wear a little extra protection because I am gonna be manipulating quite a bit of frames here today, although they seem very calm, so I could probably get away with it. Well, I'll show you some stuff here for you guys. Uh, it's always a, a learning curve if you're a new beginner, but you can see good capped over honey off on this side at the top. There's a beetle. This hive is battling beetles. And uh, you can also see um, nectar that isn't capped over, so the difference between what we call honey that's capped, nectar that isn't capped over, pretty much the same on the other side as well. Okay, now the bees are getting a little bit more upset, so we gotta use a smoker. Be sure and watch this video all the way through because look at this, a new technique I'm using to combine hives. You may wanna follow this video all the way through for that. When I'm working hives that are a little more um, defensive, uh, I usually am appreciative that I have gloves on and I have a hat and a veil bee suit. Uh, I mean, they're not terrible, but yeah, they, they can get uh, pretty defensive pretty quickly on a day like today. Well, because these bees are so defensive today and it is drizzling a little bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep battling the bees, but I wanna move this deep over to the Apime hive over here and I'll just keep walk frames over. Now, as I carry these frames over to where I'm combining, there is my actual combining screen. Now, I took a queen excluder and I taped down some craft paper there and I cut some slits, as you can see. That makes it easier for me than trying to battle a piece of newspaper. That queen excluder will also prevent a queen from up here that I may have accidentally never found from going down there, but it will allow the bees to still make this slow introduction to each other and uh, keep the original queen down below. And I'll eventually take that off in about a week. Whew. Wow. All right, well, got the queen, so let's get her in a cage. Got her, by her, got her by her back legs there. I'm just gonna let her go head first into the cage. There she goes. Got a bee up my sleeve. All right, let's see, do I have her in there? Yep, all right, now I need to put a cap on it. I'm not sure if this is the queen that I want to keep. They are just uh, that defensive, it's a challenge. So a lot of smoke today. Not much foraging today, all the bees are home, a little bit of bad weather, not the best day to work bees, but the bees aren't nice to deal with to begin with. All right, well, we got good brood. Yeah, 
divide and conquer. I'm going to divide this hive up and uh, be less for me to battle. Ooh, this is very light. Means there's some brood on it. I'm surprised when I started the project how many times I got stung. <laughs> and now they're not as aggressive as they were when I first started the project. So no complaint there for sure. Well, I told you guys I was going to put our queen somewhere else, but to tell you the truth, that hive was so defensive, I kind of don't look forward to using her again somewhere. Can't really make up my mind yet. I may drop her above a queen excluder, like in a super, and bank her there until I get past some more weeks of fall. Maybe I've got some other queens that I can use if I lose some, but, you know, she has all the right qualities except one. She's too defensive. I like everything else about the hive, just a little too defensive for me, so I kind of don't like that. So anyway, I'm going to keep hold of her. I may drop her in another hive here in a minute when the video is over. But I will just I was going to show you what I was going to do, but the storms have moved in, and I can't go back out there again in the rain. My live stream this week, September the 29th, Thursday at 7 p.m., I'm going to be talking about five mistakes that really changed my beekeeping career. You'll love to hear these five things. It's mistakes that I made, things that I learned that really, once I made some adjustments, was powerful. I want you to know these mistakes so you don't make them, you can learn from my mistakes. That's 7 p.m. Central Time. I'll leave a link right here. You join us. I'd appreciate it. Be a part of the Beak Squad. By the way, t-shirts, Beak Squad t-shirts and hats are available. And here's the link if you want a Beak Squad hat. We've got the North American Honey Bee Expo coming up in January. Not really that far away. This is almost the 1st of October. Got to get those tickets purchased right away. But if you wear your Beak Squad shirt, I'll know you're one of my viewers. So be sure and check the link out here for Beak Squad merchandise. And if you're new to beekeeping or just getting started uh, maybe next spring, look at this. Sherry and I wrote a book, Backyard Beekeeping, Everything You Need to Know to Start Your First Hive. And this book will be autographed if you buy it off our website. So take a look at it. I'll leave a link right here for this book. We always appreciate sending you a book, helping you get started in beekeeping. It's tough working a hive in the dearth in the fall when there's not much nectar out there because other hives can rob out the hive you're inspecting. I made a video right here how to deal with that. Plus, I made a video over here on what bees are doing at the entrance and you'll be shocked. Take a look at both of these videos. I'll see you over there.